morning everyone welcome back to another video it is uh sunday the 29th about 9 30 in the morning went out and checked the cows uh the heifers and the other pigs and now we're checking on this pig who had her first litter uh here i want to say last monday it was and i didn't record much of it because it turned out to be a total disaster uh, her first one came pretty easy. The second one we had a pole. And then, uh, I believe there was one or two more after that. And then, I believe it would have been the fifth one was stuck in there and we couldn't get it out. And, um, so I'm, I think as of right now, we're down to one piglet. There, she ended up sitting on two of them, I suppose, when she was pushing up that one that was stuck she may have thrashed around a little bit because she's been pretty careful about laying down but she ended up squishing two of them and then we sent two to Missoula to Natalie's parents and they were gonna put them on a sow that had some extra room and I believe one of them uh, ended up not making it so as of right now I think there's just one left and it, just, it was super stressful and I just didn't you know have the time or uh, really the energy to take out the camera I was between the new schedule at work, I've been the shifts I've been working, plus the stress of staying up all day and focusing on this pig, it was just there was just a lot going on. So our morning chores here are actually pretty easy. Um, basically, we're just checking water, checking to make sure all our animals are up and doing okay. Um, we usually don't get them fed until um, later in the afternoon. Probably typically around 3.30ish and then we like to give these guys their pellets at 3.30ish, 4 o'clock. And then the cows usually get their feed between, I would say, 5 and 6.30, just depending on how things go in that afternoon and what schedule I'm on at work. Um, I think these guys would prefer their pellets right now, but we like to try to keep them on the same routine. Uh, we'll just be... Out doing our normal chores, we'll get some feed to the cows, get the calves or pellets, make sure their pigs got um, fresh straw bedding uh, in this cold weather, uh, and just, you know, general health of our animals. And that's, uh, I think that'll be it for today, so let's jump into it. Well, while the truck's warming up, we'll grab a couple bales of straw for the pigs. Natalie, if you could grab a second bale. It's actually warmed up quite a bit. It's not too awful cold at the moment. I think it's right around negative one, so that's pretty bearable. Uh, <laughs> I can't get the side-by-side -side starter or else I'd clean up the rest of this snow, but I'll have to get a trickle charger on the battery there. All right, while well, Natalie grabs me a knife from the truck to open these bells, we'll give them some feed. one too oh look they're friendly enough to share good pigs okay. I'll just cut them up in here and they can decide what they want to do with them pigs are pretty efficient when it comes to building their own nest as you can tell okay we got the pigs fed let's take care of these calves as you can see who are eagerly waiting their meal like clockwork they know it's coming good afternoon ladies let's go I don't know if you could tell on camera, but you can see each one of these heifers has a new piece of jewelry on their ear and that's from their bangs vaccination. They get that permanent tag and then in case they somehow lose that tag, which is pretty hard to do, they also have their ears tattooed uh, with a correlating number.
we'll try to let them clean this up the best they can and then we'll get a new bale in here tomorrow maybe I reckon last time I checked they were almost out of their lick tub so we'll go make sure they still got at least a little bit left oh they clean that out we'll probably give them a new one today all right let's go feed those cows I have a lot of people saying or I had a few people say in the comments how much they see this shatter and they just it hurts them to see but if you look on the ground here there's nothing left of that shatter it's all they leave the stems and stuff they don't want they'll actually go through the pile and sift through with her nose to get all that stuff on the bottom and see she's that's what they want and this stuff looks like it's getting wasted but they'll clean most of this up believe it or not it might be a little harder with this deep snow uh, which is tr why we're trying to slowly plow it out with our little side-by-side -side. Uh, it's just the drifts are so deep so we'll hop up here with the cows or with the hay bale now Natalie fed last night with this bale she said it was real hard to get it to break apart but we'll get it there you can tell they're not starving by the way they're patiently waiting in line if they were all that hungry or all that cold they'd be here just devouring it but they're content enough to wait patiently in line so that's kind of what you like to see on these cold days there we are that's what you like to see right there get this whole thing pushed down there probably do it for us here today uh, we just came out and cleared around their mineral feeder so it wasn't completely covered with snow and made sure they had access to their water and then their lick tub over there which they just about cleaned up already they went through that pretty fast but thanks for tagging along and we'll see you guys on the next one